TFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman for this Tiger Financial News Network 11 a.m. market update on this 18th Tuesday, 18th of uh, January. The volatility index is up 3.12 at 22.31. If throughout the day any uh, market rally starts to fade, you will start to see this uh, 2230 level turn turn into 2210, 22 key support and you'll see it start to push into the 2245 2255 that makes the next hour and a half really important because if there is some kind of a reef relief rally attempt it needs to hold very very well with the dow which now is at a minus 530 35380 near the lows of the day of 35324 oh, i guess 50 points off the low um this is going to be very important because a big red candle closed like this underneath the left side low of the 10th of Jan uh, January of 35,639 says, you know what, we've set the pace now, lower lows and lower highs, at least for the short term. And that daily is going to be important because it affects the weekly. Look at the S&P. The S&P right now is trading at uh, 45.88. Uh, it's about to take out the left side low of 4582.24 on the 10th for the dreaded H pattern and the key support in the Chapman Wave up channel inside track propeller zone, which will become a repeller zone. Look at the QQQ. QQQ right now holding much better because it's above that left side high of January the 10th. It's at 372.99. If it starts to crack 369 support, that's going to be a big negative. Watch it closely. Look at the IWM, the Russell 2000. Uh, it was trying to rally. Now it looks very ugly because it's going towards the low that was made earlier in December uh, in the 210 and 208 area. It's at 210.04. Not good because of the rectangle formation for months and months. The uh, the 207.21 low is held. We'll see what happens here. Looking at gold, gold is gold down running a little bit. Yep, it's up three and a half. We're saying that gold is in play for trading. I don't know if it's going to break to the upside because the dollar had to do a whole bunch of things. I'll do this real quickly. The dollar needed to retest the, the rectangle high of 95. 52 and then it could start to move back down again that's going to be important for gold we'll see what happens there but most importantly the tlt uh, the, this is bonds the ISHA 20 year is way down to 140 and that's getting the yield really skyrocket that's a problem uh stay tuned to the larry Pesavento coming up a great program for the rest of the day i'll be back tomorrow check out what we call my daily newsletter and uh stay tuned you don't want to miss the programs here. I'll be back tomorrow. Have a great day.